The quarterback is the marquee position in football. Without a great quarterback, it's hard to really do anything in the league, especially nowadays. We've seen teams with great defenses without a great quarterback flop all the time. I mean, look at the Jets with Zach Wilson right now today. I think if they had Aaron Rodgers, they would be a team that is atop the AFC. And if he does come back, I think they will be a team atop the AFC once again, as long as obviously he comes back not too late to where they're out of the playoff race, but he's also like, you know, still functioning, able to throw a deep ball, able to make all his reads and deliver the ball. And obviously, hopefully that O-line holds up, but this isn't a video about the Jets or Rodgers or great defenses. This is a video about the greatest passing games because a year ago today, I released a video about the most passing touchdowns in a single NFL game ever. And I definitely think you should go watch that video. It is my first video up on this channel, but surprisingly, I have never done a video about the most passing yards in a single game in NFL history. And that's what I wanted to come on here and talk about today. Very interesting one. So if you like content like this and you want to come along for the ride, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Norm Van Brocklin had one of the greatest games on September 28, 1951, because it is still standing over 72 years later. On this date, he had a whopping 554 passing yards and 5 touchdowns to beat the now extinct New York Yanks. 54 to 14. Van Brocklin actually led one of the greatest offenses of the time, and Elroy Hirsch, along with others, had one of the greatest wide receiver cores for a very long time, breaking all types of records. Hirsch actually had the receiving record that year, and it was the all time receiving record for a season, only 14 games, obviously, at the time, but the craziest thing about this record is that he actually split quarterbacking duties with Bob Waterfield and was a backup QB on this roster. Even though he was the backup QB and Waterfield did get the first 24 passing attempts of this game, it didn't matter because Van Brocklin came in and threw the game-winning 73-yard touchdown pass to win the 1951 NFL Championship to beat the Cleveland Browns 24-17. There is almost no footage of this game on the internet, and it makes sense due to error, but Sometimes you do wish that you could see footage of these record-breaking games from the era, like this 554 passing yard game, the seven touchdown game from Sid Luckman. Uh, in other sports, if you follow basketball, you know Will Chamberlain scored 100 points, and there's no footage of that. But Van Brocklin did make it into the Hall of Fame class of 1971, and I do believe his record will be broken one day, probably sometime soon. But for now, it's one of the longest standing records in NFL history and will continue to be until it is broken. On December 16th, 1990, Warren Moon had an incredible game with the most passing yards in the Super Bowl era in a single game. He's tied, but we'll get into that later in the video. Because on December 16, 1990, he had 527 passing yards, three touchdowns, and led the Oilers to a 27-10 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. Moon actually had a chance to surpass Van Brocklin's record, but the Oilers had some class, and they ran down the clock once the game was out of reach. The crazy thing about this, too, is that Moon actually had an incredible 1990 campaign and would have probably been the second-ever 5,000-yard passer in a season because... He only played 15 games that year. If he had played 16, he would have most likely been a 5,000-yard passer because he did average 312 yards per game that season. And he ended with 4,689. So he would have been a 5,000-yard passer by literally one passing yard. And I think Dan Marino's season was probably still more impressive just because it's a 14-game season. And he was, he was like the god of he like you know like how they have point gods in basketball he was the qb god of that era everybody looked up to dan marino dan marino was a quintessential qb but warren moon is definitely one of the most underrated guys to ever play the qb position and he's still the only african-american quarterback in the hall of fame and i think warren moon needs some more respect he dominated and he still has the second most passing yards in an NFL game to this day. So 
Put some respect on his name. The man who's tied with Warren Moon for the most single game passing yards in the Super Bowl era is actually none other than the pick six god himself, Matt Schaub. And if you did watch the NFL in the 2010s and you watched the Houston Texans, you would know that Schaub led some great, great Houston Texans teams like the 2012 team that we will be covering in this video. But this man had a knack for throwing pick sixes. And it did often help teams that should, had no business being in a game stay in a game. And coming into the Week 11 matchup in 2012 versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Houston Texans were 8-1 and one, and the Jaguars were 1-8. and eight. Both of these teams were headed in completely different directions and this game had no business being this close. But the game was an OT thriller. And honestly, it's why me and so many others love the NFL because like a division rival can always have a great chance to win even if the teams are nowhere near each other record wise but Schaub threw for an incredible 527 yards in this one along with five touchdowns and two interceptions he sealed the game in ot with a game winning 48 yard touchdown pass to andre johnson who also had a monster day finishing with 273 receiving yards while 527 yards is an incredible feat to me, this is the least impressive game on this list, as Schaub threw the ball 55 times and his walk-off touchdown was a short pass that Johnson took to the house for 48 yards. He definitely went off, but it wasn't a game that's remembered much due to the fact that when you watch the game, you honestly probably would have no idea that he had 527 yards in the game unless you knew beforehand. And it was actually the last full season as a starting quarterback for the Houston Texans because after 2013, Houston got tired of him throwing touchdowns to the other team. He retired years later, but he was a solid backup for like half a decade. Schaub may have not been an all-pro kind of guy, but he had a solid career, made a few Pro Bowls, and he still has the second most passing yards ever recorded in an NFL game. 2021 was Joe Burrow's breakout year, and while it's only been two seasons since, I tend to forget how much of a tear he was on during that 2021 year. And the thing that makes the performance I'm about to discuss by Joe Burrow so impressive is that the Ravens defensive coordinator Wink Martindale had told everybody in the media to pump the brakes on any future Hall of Fame talk on Joe Burrow. Burrow ended up having one of the greatest I'm him performances the next week as he gave the Ravens a late Christmas gift because on December 26th, a day after Christmas, Joe Burrow had an insane 525 passing yards and four touchdowns versus the Ravens in week 16 of the 2021 NFL season. Burrow had an incredible run in 2021 and had the fourth most passing yards in a game this year, along with another 501 yard game versus the Atlanta Falcons. Dude was going crazy. And honestly, just because Burrow has had sustained excellence the last two years, it's kind of slipped my mind how many great games he's had. But after a slow start this year, he is having another all pro caliber season and is definitely on pace to prove Martindale wrong. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading videos like this for the rest of 2023. So if you want to be along for the journey, make sure you don't miss out and press that sub button. Anyways, though, I'm out of here. Have a good one. And like I said, too, I love making videos like these. I get to learn a lot. If I didn't know, I, didn't, I had no idea that Norm Van Brock went through 554 passing yards. And it's crazy because a lot of the old records are not discussed at all until they do get broken. So I'm glad that I can provide a YouTube video where people get to learn about games like this. And this was not a record I knew about. But like I said, I enjoy videos like this. So if you want to see more videos like this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace.